Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Cyrus, we need to go talk to the Moth Priest. We have all of the scrolls now. I really hope that this Dawn Guard business isn't a waste of time. When are we going to strike back for all the people that I've lost? When? The entire town of Riften is practically wiped out now because of vampires. And what am I doing? Collecting crossbow parts. All right, come on. Let me try to collect myself. Serana. There's the Moth Priest there. Dexion, slow down. Dexion. I trust your journey was successful? Yes, it has been. I've brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. What do you mean? What's happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. That covering on your eyes, are you? Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Can anything be done to help you? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Don't worry about that, just tell me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree which will, in turn, attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark? How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every Moth Priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. How's a moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you've figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls. But they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priest to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. 
It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal auger and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. How does that help the moth priest? By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. Then how do I even stand a chance? I have to be honest with you, this sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Hmm. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. Only one way to find out. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Is it normal for moth priests to go blind? Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. Arke's been watching over me for years now. He says he's not too sure about you yet, though. All right. Serene. All right, Can Cyrus. Let's go. It's you and me. Let's see if we can't find these moths. Or this knife, or whatever it is I'm supposed to get. Can I help you? I don't know. Wait a minute. Why is... What are you doing? I dismissed you. It's so bright. Right behind you. Hmm, I think we should part ways. All right, I'll meet you at the Glade. What? Can I help you? No, I don't want you to come with us at all. Oh. I'm here to help. I don't like that vampire. It's people like her are the reason why Riften is in ruins and some of my closest friends are dead. Let's get going. Yes, I know we need to. But did you understand anything the Moth Priest said? We've stopped. What is it? I'm trying to figure out... Canticle... Draw knife... Mo I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Well, hopefully you can help me when we get to where we're going. Let's go. Alright, we're here. Let's go on inside. Ancestor Glade. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. Mm, this is impressive. See the moths. Guess we need to follow the trail. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. All right, this must be the draw knife. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. All right, there's one right here. Moth like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Okay, let's
let's keep moving. They've definitely taken a liking to you. Yes, they have. There's another one of those trees. Hmm. I guess I don't need to take the bark from it. They're just swarming around me naturally. There's another canical tree. Keep moving. I am glowing. There's another tree over here. sword too. Freezing blast, I'll take it. This seems to be working. over here. Alright, we've got them. Enter the column of light and read the Elder Scroll. Alright, here I go. said it was the blood scroll. Okay. Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. All right. I can still see. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Ah, uh, that felt strange. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? It's in a place called Darkfall Cave. Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? The scroll gave me its exact location. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Lead on. <laughs> Let's go. I'm still disoriented. Wait a minute. We've got enemies. What's going on? No. You will not touch me. What is this? Vampires? Yes. Now. A little spell that 
this ran taught me. Waiting to use this power. Is everyone all right? All right, we'll assume that they don't have anything worth taking. Let's go. What can I do for you, friend? Sure thing. Let's go. All right, we're here at Darkfall Cave. And we'll continue our adventures next time. Yeah.